so I've been excited about this for a long time. This product that I'm going to show has been in my Amazon buy it later section of my cart for going on like six months. I kept putting it off thinking, ah, I don't really need it. It's just kind of silly. But finally, I decided, you know what, I'm going to get Prime and we're going to do this. I, I, <laughs> I, I cannot stand it anymore. I think I need it in my life. And my, my disc is, uh, we'll just ignore that. Death Wish Coffee Company. Now, I've seen their products before. Um, World's Strongest Coffee is, is their claim. I, I'm sure that, like, I mean, I, I don't know that if, I don't know that you can actually claim the World's Strongest Coffee, but we'll just have to see. Now, this isn't their original Death Wish Coffee. This is something I wanted to try for a long time. It's Valhalla Java. It's a pre-ground Odin Force blend. Look at that packaging. That is awesome. Just that alone is what kind of prompted me. So, got a little blurb on the back. For from the volcanic soils of Indonesia, the nutrient-rich soils of Central and South America, Deathwish Coffee Company presents Valhalla Java Odin Force blend. The masterful artisan roast has been carefully crafted for the world's most powerful guitarist, Zach Wild, with maximum flavor and a high caffeine content. This coffee will bring you back from the nights you thought you'd never wake up from. Do you bleed black? Well, that's cool. And we're still within the uh, sell by day. That's always a plus. Uh, brewing ratio, two and a half tablespoons for six ounces of quart. So, yeah, just put some scoops in my Keurig and, and run with it. <laughs> we also, in the box, have what, a couple stickers, it looks like. Oh, yeah, sweet. I'm not really a sticker guy, but I could easily become a sticker guy. <laughs> Is that bad? That sounds bad. And that's, that's all we got. So, I'm going to go brew a cup of this coffee, and we will be back. All right, so I just wanted to uh, crack it open real quick before we went and made a cup because part of the experience of coffee is, I mean, it smells great in the cup, but you've got to smell the grounds. Make sure you're getting uh, something as strong as this stuff. It, it better be good. All right, so I got the bag cracked up in a touch. Let's spread her apart. I'm going to whiff. Uh, um, uh, that could easily be mistaken as an innuendo, and it is not. It's kind of hard to be one-handed. But I can smell it just sitting here. It smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it smells like coffee. I, I'm i not a coffee snob by, by any means. I mean, I'm the kind of pour some in a cup put a minimal amount of sugar in it as possible throw an ice cube in it and i've got java but, oh it's very very strong it's it's it smells initially like like it's very bitter smelling which and it, for me in a coffee is a good thing i like my coffee bitter i I put just a touch of sugar in for a sweetness, but not even enough to counteract the bitterness. And I don't use cream. I, it's gross. So anyway, like I said, we will be back and we will see how this tastes when I get a cup brood. brood. When, when I get a cup brood. So funny enough, I couldn't find my old, uh, my old individual K-cup thing. Most of the time I just use... Uh, pre-made K-Cups because, you know, they're easy. So I had to break out the <laughs> the old uh, coffee pot. And I'm just running some hot water through it because it's been a minute since it's seen action. There's probably some crud built up inside. But we'll just have to wait and see.
And so finally, it all comes to fruition. Let me go ahead and try the coffee. Wow. It's a little hot, so it's just a sip, but I can already tell. There's not a lot of uh, bitterness that comes through in the original smell. So I really am, I like that. Right? I was kind of concerned that it might be too bitter. Don't get me wrong, I do like bitter, but sometimes when things are so bitter, it almost hurts my teeth. I don't know if that's weird, maybe. I'm probably just the odd one out here, but um, there's a lot of fruity notes going on here. Like I said, I'm not a coffee snob. I'm really not, uh, but I, I know what I like, and I certainly like this. I'll definitely be returning to that pot of coffee at least a couple times today. Um, I did put a little sugar in it. Again, just enough that it kind of counteracts a little of the bitterness, but adds a little bit of sweetness to it. I don't use cream. I don't really care for it. Um, if I had, like, actual half and half, yeah, but I don't use powdered creamer. So, um... Everyone ever always wants a rating system. I, I'd say probably 7 or 8 out of 10. It's a very good coffee. Um, will I probably drink it until the bag is empty? Yeah. Will I probably come back to it? Eventually. Will I continue to buy it? Probably not. And here's why. A. It's not something I can run to my regular store and get. I have to order it online. And B. Uh... I get that it's a specialty product, and I get that it's kind of, uh, you know, one of those things that you you pay to to experience it. But at, I believe, $15, and I, I'll put the price on the screen because I'm probably wrong there. It just wasn't worth it for a little bag of coffee. Now, it was worth it to try it, absolutely, but I wouldn't make this my staple brew. Um... It's very good, and if, if if it was more akin to the prices of your regular bagged coffees at the supermarket, absolutely, I would 100% buy this every day for forever and eternity until I, you know, <laughs> uh, keel over from, from overconsumption of coffee. But, until then, I'm just going to stick with my regular stuff. This has been your boy, the Sandwich Man, trying... Death, wi Death Wishes Valhalla Java Odin Force Blend. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, or, you know, just whatever. I I'm not the cops. You can do whatever. And uh, stay caffeinated.